this station, you'll learn to compare fractions when the denominators are the same. Suppose you had to answer this question. Would you rather eat two-thirds of the Brussels sprouts on your plate or two-fifths of the Brussels sprouts? The answer might be different depending on whether you like Brussels sprouts or not, right? At your station, you have some fraction manipulatives, some colored pencils or markers, and a recording sheet called Comparing Fractions When the Denominators Are the Same. Be sure you can reach all of your materials. Use your fraction manipulatives to make two holes that are the same size. One of them should be divided into three parts, and the other should be divided into four parts. Pause the video while you make the holes, and then start it again when you're finished. Your manipulatives should look like this. Right now you have two holes. One is divided into three equal size parts, and the other is divided into four equal size parts. We are going to remove some parts to show fractions of the circles. First, look at the whole circle that is divided into three equal size parts. Right now, you have three thirds. Remove one of the pieces. What fraction is showing? The circle is divided into thirds, so the name of the fraction is thirds, and two of the thirds are showing. So now you have two thirds. Let's look at the circle that's divided into fourths. Right now, you have four fourths. Remove two of them. What fraction is showing? The name of the fraction is fourths because the circle is divided into four fractional parts and you have two of them, so the fraction is two fourths. Now look at your sheet. See the two circles at the top? Shade two thirds of one of the circles and two fourths of the other circle. Then write the fractions below them. Pause the video and then start it again whenever you're finished. Let's focus our t attention on the size of the fractional parts. Are the fractional parts the same size? They aren't. Why aren't they the same size? Which fractional part is larger? As you can see, fourths are smaller than thirds, and the thirds are larger than the fourths. Why do you think this is true? Pause the video and discuss the answer with your team and why it's true. Then write your thinking in part two. Start the video when you are finished. Check your paper to see if you wrote something like this. Fourths are smaller than thirds because the whole is divided into more parts. This means that the parts are smaller. Thirds are larger than fourths because the whole is divided into fewer parts. This means that the parts are larger. Let's look back at our fraction models. One of the models shows two thirds and the other shows two fourths. Now let's decide which is greater, two thirds or two fourths. When you compare fractions with different denominators, you must take into consideration the size of the parts. Even though both holes show two parts shaded, two-thirds represents more of the circle than two-fourths, so two-thirds is greater than two-fourths. Why is this true? How could you tell which fraction is larger when the numerators are the same and the denominators are different? Pause the video and discuss it with your team, then start the video again when you have come to a conclusion. Hopefully you said something like this. Thir thirds are larger than fourths because the whole has been divided into fewer parts. Since there are the same number of fractional parts represented by the numerator, then the fraction with the thirds has to be larger than the fraction with the fourths. Now you're going to pause the video and work part three. Start the video when everyone in your group is finished. Let's look at your answers. Look at the top part of the box. How do you write the comparison? There are two ways to write it. You can write two-thirds is greater than two-fourths or 
you can write two-fourths is less than two-thirds. Check to be sure you wrote the symbols correctly and the words. Pause the video if you need more time. Now let's look at how we fill in the blanks. There are also two ways to fill in the blanks. Here's the first way. When the numerators are the same and the denominators are different, the fraction with the larger denominator is less than the fraction with the smaller denominator. The second way you might have written it, when the numerators are the same and the denominators are different, the fraction with the smaller denominator is greater than the fraction with the larger denominator. That's a lot of words, isn't it? If you get confused, go back and look at the fractions again using your manipulatives. Compare the sizes of the fractional parts. That should help you remember how to use mental math to tell which fraction is larger or smaller. Do you sometimes know when a fraction is greater or less than another, but have trouble remembering which symbol to write? Here's a trick to remember which symbol to write. Place two dots by the larger fraction and place one dot by the smaller fraction. Now connect them to write the inequality. Now you're going to work part three with your group. See if you can use mental math to determine which fraction is larger. Remember that when the denominators are different, you must consider the size of the parts. Once you've finished, Get the answer key from your teacher. Pause the video and work with your team. Thank you for learning with us.